guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new video. As you can see from the title, it is the dreaded say it or shot it. And I've got the lovely Alex Cole here Hello. with me today. <laughs> We've actually just filmed a sit down mukbang and turn on your dilemmas. We are very full at yeah. McDonald's. Like, we oh, ate a lot of food. I'm really glad I'm having this gin now. Yeah, it's actually soothing me. It's very it refreshing. Alex just made us this gin with pepper and cucumber. Cheers. Mm, cheers. And it's very refreshing. It's actually 3 p.m. Working hard. On a Thursday, it's a hard life, you know, gotta get that graft in. Um, so <laughs> that video will be up on Alex's channel on Sunday, so I'll link that down below as well. So make sure you go and watch that because we really do get into our inner agony aunt, don't we? Yeah. We like, really, really discuss things. Mm, we had some really good dilemmas mm. coming, actually. I think we really came into our own. Yeah, I think that was our calling in life. I agree. Agony aunt. Agree. <laughs> Like Alex just said, if this all fails, we need a column in a magazine yeah. you know, just to discuss dilemmas. You know, maybe we'll make it a regular occurrence. Yeah, like I think dilemmas. So. We'll have a little series of it or something. Yeah, that'd be good. Maybe we should discuss that. Stay tuned. But yeah, yeah, stay tuned for that one. So yeah, as I said, they all shot it now. I'm actually scared for this. I've done one before with my sister and it ended badly. We were I've both never very done drunk. one. Have you not? I've never done this before, so I am scared. That's, I mean, that's why I made a gin. I thought if we just. Loosen us up a bit. Yeah. Get the juices flowing. Yeah. We've got sours because, I mean, like I said, it's 3pm on a Thursday. I'm not going to get Sambuca out. I could not be dealing with Sambuca. I could not be dealing with Jaeger bombs because that was, imagine that kernel with the McDonald's. No. It's I don't want no nuggets and Jaeger bombs. No, that's not a combination no. that anyone wants. Um, so I've wrote down all the questions that you all asked on Instagram. Um, and we're just gonna go through yeah. and see. Should we clear a space? Should yeah. we get ready? So I'm gonna give you a little shot cup here. So we're gonna see what we can answer and what we can't. We're gonna get through as many as we possibly can. Um, right, which one should we start with? I feel like we should start off juicy. Do you know what? I'm gonna fill these ready. I thought you were gonna say I just want to start. Um, no, I'm okay, thanks. Okay, it's just like you're just getting excited. I'm like, come on, no. let's have one and get them. Let's just get us going. Get it so we're ready. Um, right. Let's oh, start with. <laughs> let's start with. What is your biggest turn-offs? Okay. I feel like I can answer that. Yeah. I'm happy to answer that. Go for it. So for me personally, my biggest turn-off in a guy is hygiene. Oh, yeah. Bad hygiene. Oh. Is you can be stunning, but if you don't brush your teeth, or if you don't dirt your fingernails. I mean, nah. Or just like bad personal hygiene, like not taking, there's nothing better than a sexy smelling boy. Yeah. You know, a boy smells sexy mm. and it's like, mm, yeah, nice. No, it's not my boy that. smells of like Beal. steak and onion crisps. Mm. <laughs> nah. 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 Turn off. Right. So hygiene and also rudeness. I can't call when people are rude. Like, mm. imagine like when you're in a restaurant and they're like, mm, to the staff. I'm like, yeah, don't be rude. So I think rudeness and hygiene is my biggest turn. Yes. Yeah. I think I'm with you on the hygiene. Yeah, I'm sorry, but it's a given, isn't like, it? Especially when it comes to bad smells. Mm. Like <laughs> bodily smells. Bodily smells. No. <laughs> it's not a forte. I don't yeah. And also I think for me, like personality trait mm -hmm. would be like no ambition. Yeah. You know someone that's like, very happy plodding. Yeah. Just cruising by in the slow. Uh, yeah, room. and doesn't want to just live life to yeah. get full yeah. and wants to get the best out of life. Yeah. Totally I agree. find that really a, a turn off. Yeah. I, I want I want to have someone that wants where you can push each other yeah, and constantly yeah, like oh definitely. like pushing. Yeah, totally. Well, that's a turn off for me. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I feel like that, that was a nice first. That was one. a nice easy one to get into. It, in, you know, know. Of gym, yeah, get it down. Let's have a bit of a a bit of a harder one. Most in, by the way, when I asked this, a lot of questions were about like the influencer industry. Oh, I think God, everyone wants to know, like everyone wants you to spill the, the tea. Ghost, don't they want to know the goss. A lot of stuff about sex life. Wow. Okay. Who knew that you guys wanted to know that information? <laughs> and what else? They want the that, was, that was yeah. That was kind of the most asked, asked question. Oh, so let's go in with what was the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to you during sex. <laughs> During, during, mid, mid, mid sex, mid thrust, yeah, <laughs> mid, happening. <laughs> what oh, happened? Most about. I actually don't know. Do you have one that springs yes. to mind? Yes, something springs to mind instantly, and I'm sorry, I don't know Are who's watching shot? this. I don't know who's going to be watching this video. I can't. I can't even bring myself to say the words. I couldn't. I don't even think I could sit and say the words to you. So oh my god. Oh my god. 
god, there it is. What was that? I feel like I'm 16 at a house party. <laughs> Alex, she said I was like, I feel like it's just bringing me back to like, you know, like fields. Alex was like, fields? Yeah, Dion said it smells of fields, and I was like, Nature? It's cherry sours. Why does it smell of fields? And she was like, no, from when you used to get drinking drink in, in the fields, you know. I was like, dirt? <laughs> Nature? Smells? Trees? <laughs> Um, right, what is my most embarrassing thing that's happened? Can, can I get say it? Well, I don't know, maybe I can, because I feel like I can't really think of anything really embarrassing that's happened. Do you want to whisper to me first and I'll tell you if that's acceptable? <laughs> I, want, I need to know your story, I'm intrigued now. I can't, I can't even bring myself to say it. Rude, I need to know. Um, okay, I can, I'm going to tell you, but uh, I'm going to whisper it. Okay. I'll obviously just crop this out. Oh God. <laughs> You took a shot. I'm so glad you took a shot. I'm so sorry that. Oh my god, I bet that was traumatizing for me. The both of you. I'm glad you took a shot. I'm just going to take a shot because oh god, I feel like nothing particularly jumps to mind. Nothing. So <laughs> I'm just nothing. Nothing like that happens to me. You know. <laughs> nothing. That sorry. Having sorry. perfect sex all the time. <laughs> Hard to be this perfect thing. Oh, I smell that field. <laughs> I felt that one go down me. Oh god. Mm. That's nastier than what I remembered. Go. Oh right, god. Right, okay, next. Come on. We can do this. Let's go in with Who has the worst ex-boyfriends? Do we have to like tell a story of what makes them the worst? Because if so, do you know about mine? Because if so, then I win. I don't think so. Really? <laughs> really? I don't think this is something we've discussed. We haven't it, discussed like, this. Have we even spoke about this before? I feel like we haven't, but my, my story it's is... like we've got some good stories. <laughs> we do. I mean, my story is literally like something off an episode of Coronation Street. I mean... Mine too. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Could you tell it? I don't know if I can. Oh. I do feel like I, I feel do like feel like I feel like it's not fair to talk about it. Oh. I'm gonna take a shot. I mean, he's never gonna watch this, but I know he's never gonna watch it. But I think people who people know, know him and are yeah. still people from the area from, he's from would yeah. watch it and it would get back, and then it's like resurfacing yeah. and just no one needs that. I think anyone, I think anyone that knows me personally that is watching this. Hi. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know what happened. Same for me. You know. Anyone, because a lot of people in the Durham area know what happened. Like, it, it was quite, like, it was very drama, very you know, like, drama for Beckham's. Yeah, it? basically. <laughs> basically, Kim and Kanye went down. My God. That was it, basically. So I think we need to take a shot. And we'll, we'll discuss it after we'll this discuss. bit. And see who actually wins. Cheers. <laughs> it doesn't help that it's warm. It's warm. It's actually warm. Why didn't we put it in the fridge? Uh, sorry, but that's actually awful. I know I'm being dramatic, but that's horrible. Right, I'm just chopping us up, okay? Right, okay. Next one. Let's go in with... Do you have over six digits in your bank account? I bloody oh, wish, wish I had yeah. over six digits in the bank oh, account. I'll tell you that now. Yeah. I wish I did. Hell no. I don't know. I feel like people always get asked this. When, when I watch the other shots, people always get asked this. People love to know the money details, don't they? Yeah. Like, people like to ask a lot I about mean, money. I hardly have no problem telling you if I did or didn't, but I truly haven't and I really wish I did. I so. truly don't, but I mean, one day, yeah. the gals will. But mm -hmm. not right now, I don't, no, unfortunately. I mean, I've got an Ikea sideboard behind me. It look like I'm rolling around in all this dollars. <laughs> oh, God. We shot an apple sours. We shot Nine pounds at the co-op, do you know what oh. I mean? Mate. This is not great games in here. No. Do you know what I mean? Dong Perrin Young. But that just made me think of Kim, Kim. Oh, what can you call Chris? Chris Young. Chris, Chris, Chris Young. Young. <laughs> I got a call. Right, oh, so oh. wait, do we need to do a shot? Yeah, we do. But wait. No, 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 no. we said it. We said it. Do oh, we yeah. And we said, no, we don't. No, we don't. Yeah, we don't need yeah, to do it. Yeah. No, we don't. So good. Yeah. Great, okay. Let me just take a little refresh. With more alcohol. Yeah. Pleasant. I mean, honestly, the fact that it's now half three, and then Jordan's going to come pick me up. Where Alex is. Jordan's going to pick me up, and I'm going to be probably drunk on a Thursday yeah, afternoon. Yeah, half steaming on a Thursday afternoon after. 
working. An afternoon of working. <laughs> That's just life. Um, <laughs> right, next, let's do a, a bit of an easy one. Yeah, go on then. Biggest celeb crush. Oh, Zach Efron, knew hands it. down. Knew it. He is my God. N- numero one. one. I know. From day she one. She loves Zach Efron. Honestly. From the high school musical days. Oh, yeah, I'm a, like an OG fan. I was there at 13 years old with Troy Bolton, like, was my number oh one. Oh, my God. Troy, how I wanted to be your Gabrielle. Tears in Troy? Tears in Troy? No. no. Tears in Tears. <laughs> series is it called down to earth i think yeah he's traveling around the world she's basically um, pescatarian after watching it now. yeah I'm, I'm basically like full vegan now so <laughs> thanks zach um, i literally binge watched that i had a bit of a hungover day i think there's like 10 or 12 episodes and i sat and watched everyone back to back and honestly just seeing his face cured me he is so funny. i was born again after he that oh hello who's yours um so i'm quite stuck between two you got number one. Come on, make that choice. Oh, I think it's Anthony Joshua. Oh, oh I will actually nice. let him knock me out physically. I'd let yeah, him. I'd like, let him. Just, so yeah. Do you know what? Just, just for the feel of his hand on your face. Just, just, just to get knocked back and just look at him. I know. He's so. He's sexy. got. He's got the height as well, hasn't he? Yeah, that is it. He's got everything. He's got yeah. looks. But he's got personality as well. You know, hasn't so, he? Yeah. Like, Not that I've met him. I'm like. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like Best he's nice. <laughs> Guy's got personality. He's so nice. Yeah, it's got to be Anthony Joshua. My number two was Chris Brown. I'd also let him punch me too. <laughs> well, he probably would. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> He's got that in his yeah. track record. That's a good one, actually. I yeah. mean, Zac Efron, the only thing he lacks, I mean, he's perfect to me. The only thing he lacks. If, he, if he's watching this, sorry, Zac. You don't like it. He's either. like, I, he's my hall pass. Me and Andrew yeah. decided if Zac Efron ever put it on me, which yeah. he only needs to meet me, come on. I mean, you just want to look at the call. Oh, come on. Signed. And then I'm hoping that one thing leads to another, but yeah, he's my hall pass. The only thing is, yeah. he's not tall. Is he not? How he's tall is he? Foot eight. He's the same height as me. Oh, Oh no, Zach, man. Come Zach. on. Any chance? But yeah. Well, that's what I like about Andy Joshua, because he's an actual giant. He's a giant. I'd probably be up to his actual... You literally cling on to him like a little koala bear. I just hug him all day, just let me live here. Sliding down his abs. Just do 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 Your head. <laughs> so yeah, that's my celeb crush. Oh. Don't have to take a shot, I think we're doing quite well here. Yeah. Um, right. Who is the most famous person to ever slide in your DMs? Um, are you look, can, can you say? I mean, a few. We have some of the same footballers. We had some of the same footballers, didn't we? Send us the same messages. The same message. So they're just. So how many girls did that message go to? I reckon. I think if we said it, you get so many influencers going. And me. Yeah, I guarantee. If we said his name, I guarantee so many people would be like, "Yeah, he did say me," and he's persistent. Yeah. This guy. Hi. How are you? Didn't reply. Two weeks later. Hi. How are you? Is this guy not busy? Have you not got some football to be playing or some training to be doing or something? I swear he, when I got this message, it was like during the season as well. Yeah. Like, Are you Let not see, training? Gonna, Are you not, I'm you not got something to, to be show doing? you this and see if it's still, um, if you've still got it. How do you spell his name? I mean, we're talking bigger than like just Love Island guys here, aren't we? Oh, yeah, this is like, yeah. this is. How do you spell his name? This is world known top. Draw. How do you spell it? Footballers. What, what, how do you, what? E? E? (laughs) (laughs) We've got 11th of August. Hey, how are you? 12th of January. Hey, how are you? 5th of August. You good? 6th of August. Busy? Busy? Yes, I'm busy. Are you not busy? Are you not? No, I'm all over the world. I'm sure you probably get paid enough to be busy. I mean, so yeah. 
you don't want to get with that's, that yet. That is no, not, it's not quite as exactly I just want it is it? How we've had the same. The same, yeah. I mean, yeah, a few footballers mm. and a few love But do you know what? Probably due to legal reasons, we probably can't say Yeah, I'm probably so. not going to say them because we might get sued, so bye. Cheers, <laughs> And we <laughs> can't afford to fight that lawsuit. <laughs> we can't afford to fight him. Cheers to you, darling. Oh, I'm live streaming you well. <laughs> it's not nice. Oh, it's so warm. I'm not being funny. It's giving me goosebumps. It's not nice. I'm actually getting hot and flustered. I'm, I'm sweating. sweating. I'm sweating. It's not great. I'm right. Hot. Okay, so let's go in with. Oh, God. I feel like for every hard one, we'll do it a good one. This is okay. a nice one. This isn't even a set I'll shot it, but someone said. You're both beautiful, how did you meet? Thank you, that is so kind. So basically, Dion slid into my DMs and was so persistent. She kept going, hi, you're good, you're busy. And I was like, what? Basically, I forced Alex to be my friend and just the rest of the history. No, basically, funnily enough, we live like a five minute drive from each other, yeah, if so not even that. And we obviously both are in the industry, but we'd, had we met? So we met actually out shooting once. Yes, so we were, you were out. shooting with Rachel. Yeah, and you were with Andy. Andrea. And we knew each other from Instagram. So like we just had like a little conversation. Hi, how are you? Yeah, good, mm -hmm. blah blah, and that was it. Um, but my boyfriend would always be like, "Why don't you message Ali? She lives up the road." Like, well, no, she did, he didn't say she lives up the road because we didn't know where she lived at this point. Clearly, yeah. we weren't stalkers. <laughs> we live in the same area. He was like, "Oh, you live in the same area. Why don't you yeah. message her?" Like, and my boyfriend was saying the same to me, yeah. which we didn't know. So Andy we didn't would, know this. Andy would say to me, "You know, you and Dion are both bloggers. Why yeah. don't you just arrange to meet or yeah. shoot?" And I'd be like, "No, that's weird." Yeah. Like, just well, we were both, it. like, yeah. Funnily enough, both of our boyfriends were saying that to us. But we both had the same mindset in that, like. We didn't want it to be forced. Like I didn't no. want to message Alex and be like, "Let's meet," because that just Let's feels meet forced. For coffee and doesn't no. it? Yeah, like, we're, we're both the same, aren't we? Yeah. We're very chill and laid back about us. Yeah. If it's gonna happen, it it's happens. gonna happen. And that was what I always said: that if it's gonna happen, it'll happen. Like I'm not gonna message her and go my way and be a freak. And you all said the same to Andy, so we were yeah. just very chilled. Anyway, the universe brought us together because one day, oh, this th this is just fate. Alex and her boyfriend were sat in Gusto having a meal. Mm -hmm. Me and Jordan come in. And this Gusto. was in the middle of the week. This wasn't like a Friday or Saturday oh, night. Yeah. This was just a random Wednesday <laughs> Sorry, evening. We were destined to be yeah. friends. Yeah, but you know, you're not, so you know, most people go out for meals like on Friday or Saturday. Oh, yeah, night, not midweek. Like, this was a Wednesday evening. Yeah, yeah, literally. Yeah. Um, and we came in to Gusto for a meal. We get walked over to our table, sit down, look to the table right next to us, which is literally, I'm not joking, if you got like that close. And hey, there guys. she is. <laughs> She's sat there with Andy, so I'm like, Hi, and she's like, oh hi. So we said, no word of a lie, we were literally this far away. Like, literally, the tables like yeah. were so so close. It was in January, mm. and anyway, we ended up just talking through the whole meal. We oh, basically yeah. sat as a four, as a four, we? just chatting all the way through. Yeah, just chatting the whole way through. Mm. Ended up getting this like porn star tray. Trying to like, like mini porn stars. Yeah, yeah. And we ordered like you ordered one, had four, so we had two of yours, and we ordered one, you had two of ours. Yeah. And then after that we went to the bottomist and then we ended up staying there until it was so late that and we so got gone. kicked out and we were all yeah. more and we told each other our life story. Yeah. So it was then, good though, because like yeah. our boyfriends really got on well, yeah. me and Dion got on well. Like, yeah. It was just it was a nice setup. And it was natural. And I yeah. always say that I like things to happen naturally. And it really did, didn't yeah, it? It really was. Like yeah. we just got on so well and our boyfriends are really similar, mm -hmm. like they have similar interests. So we just got on really, really well, the four of us. Um and then from there it was actually quite a while after that we did something again, wasn't it? Because obviously, yeah. like, got when we went to lockdown, didn't we? Because yeah. we'd always said we need to arrange to, to go something. for a meal. Mm -hmm. And yeah, then yeah. COVID hit. COVID hit, so we couldn't do that. And then we, once restrictions lifted that we could actually see other people. We came to our garden. Yeah, yeah, we came up and we had a barbecue. Mm -hmm. And then from there, the rest is history. Our friendship has blossomed. And it's blossomed, and now we're going on holiday uh, tomorrow when you're watching this video. Tomorrow we're going tomorrow, on holiday. We are going on holiday. Absolutely buzzing. Like, can't wait for some sun and cocktails and bread and alioli. So, so that is yeah, that's met. the story of how we met, and now we basically, as a four, are just inseparable. Inseparable. If we haven't seen each other in a couple of days, we're like, what are you doing? Miss you. What are you doing? Miss you. Getting withdrawals. Can we do something soon? So yeah, that's the story of how we met. So that's cute. The story in Balamore. Yeah. Right. Now we need to go back into a bit of a. Right. Does that mean because that was so nice and fluffy? Now we're that we need to one. Yeah. Oh. 
Um, how many times do you have sex a week? Now, I'm actually quite happy to talk about this because I feel like every single week is different. Yeah, like oh, we don't like schedule in. Like, it's like, Wednesdays, oh, it's Monday, Wednesday, Sunday. Here we go. Yeah. No, it's like, it's, I just think, I think people put so much pressure I think, on I don't, sex. Do you, is it just me or I go through phases yeah. where you'll be doing it like all the time, all the time and then you'll go through like, not a dry spell, but you'll go through like a couple yeah. weeks where you're just like, look, I'm just tired. 100%. Yeah. Like, and we always discuss this. That I always say that like, when you're in a relationship and you live with someone, it is silly to expect that you're gonna have sex constantly. Oh, yeah, like, like I think it goes through stages. Some weeks you might have sex a lot. Some weeks you might both be really busy and tired and feeling mm-hmm. rubbish, and you don't want to. Like no. I just think every single week is differently. If I, if I am truly honest, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Do I need to do a shot for that, or is that us? Because it's not the same each week. I can't sit here and say I have right. sex. Three, three times, times a week. week, yeah. Because I don't. Um, I might have it three times I a week. Think we have. I think we have time. I think it's like literally different every week. Yeah. Depending on what's going on in your life, what you're doing. Do you know what I mean? I mean, during lockdown, yeah, we've all got a lot of spare time. There's been a, not a lot to do. We've all been twiddling <laughs> our thumbs. So I'll pay, I'll pay. The average has gone up. There's only so many rooms in your house you can paint. I mean, I'll paint my dining room. And <laughs> still got hours left at the end of the day. There's so much Netflix you can watch. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I mean, before you have to get chilling. I'm not gonna lie, when that was like a documentary came out, <laughs> they got the juices flowing. They down. got it flowing. <laughs> you were ready. Yeah, I'm just gonna imagine you're Zach. <laughs> I'm really sorry for calling you Zach. Just ignore me. <laughs> that just slips. Up. It's like that TikTok where they call my boyfriend another name. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> Oops. My bad. Um, right. Next, we have got. Who are the worst or rudest brand you've ever worked with? Ooh. Okay, the worst or the rudest. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't say a brand's ever been rude. No. Um, Not rude. I would say sometimes a brand might be difficult. Yes. Yes. Very difficult. Yeah. In um, terms of... So, an, an example without saying the brand. So, for example, say you are working with a brand and... They want you to do a post, but they said no, getting my well. I feel like because you're not going to say this brand's name. Of course I'm not, of course I'm not. But say, for example, you're working with a brand and they haven't set you any guidelines, they just say do a photo, blah, 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 and then they ask you to redo it there in a foreign country nothing, when you're in lockdown. There's literally nothing worse than a brand saying, you know, nothing, nothing specific, oh, I can't even speak. <laughs> nothing specific, you, you know, your content. Style. Yeah, you shoot that and then you show them the content. They're like, actually, we really want you to, to be standing in front of a blue wall with a pig in the background yeah. holding a green cup and you're like, oh, oh sorry. So you didn't want to mention yeah. this before? Yeah. I asked, and then so. I think sometimes they don't realise the effort that you go in and would shoot. Like, we shoot like three times a week sometimes and it's effort isn't it like we put oh, a lot we're of, out for a good two sometimes three hours we're getting our boobs out in the car like there's a lot oh. of thought that goes into it it's not as simple as just going out and taking a photo even in lockdown i had a brand say to me um i sent the photo for the company and they said oh we would like it more night out style like you know dressed up. and i said it bars and restaurants. COVID. The bars and restaurants aren't even open. What, what do you want me to do? Night out. I can't do night out. I'm not promoting a night out when we're in lockdown, first of all. And there's nowhere to go. So I don't know what you want me to do. So stuff like that is difficult, but we're obviously not going to say. Mm. I've I don't mind saying mine. Okay. Just because I'll never work with them again. All right. And it wasn't that they were rude to me, nothing like that. But mm. they heavily messed me around. Right. When it came to payment. And it took me almost 12 months to get paid. Every time they would ignore me, it was it was a real big stress. Yes. I think that's the hardest thing about our industry is, obviously we chase payments, we have to get paid because we are the service. So that's probably one of the most annoying things about mm. brands is when they don't, when they kind of take the piss with you because they think, oh well. You know it's taking the piss when you start an email with, it's been 10 months now. Yeah. I would like a reply, and please. That, yeah, I'd have to say, mm-hmm. Do you know what? I'm never going to work with them again, so Astralis, the tan brand. I ain't doing that. that. First, she's spilling the tea. I ain't doing that again. You've no. got a drink. I know I do. I was just waiting for you to drink. drink. You were going <laughs> to... Please, please, no, please, no, please, no. I mean, I'm drinking with you, kind of. I can smell oh, I it. it. I can smell it. Oh, my God. Ugh. 
That's for you, brand. That's Whoever for you, you maybe. Um, yeah, you're never going to work with them again. You're no. a Bondi girl, I'm not even going to. Bondi through and through. Bondi. <laughs> Hashtag Bondi. Hashtag Bondi. Um, right. Well, Alex, you are spilling the tea. Well, look. Do or die? Is that the... Oh, well, I'm making up another saying. <laughs> In Alex's video, if you've seen it, we made up another saying. What was it? Don't cast... Don't cast under everyone under the same, same brolly. brolly. Get an anorak. <laughs> what? And we hadn't even had a drink at that point. Like, either. literally stand hot sober. So, so, I mean, what was that about? I have no idea. Anyway, next, shall we do. Keep it on the topic of brands and things. Mm -hmm. What is the most you've ever made from a brand deal? Ooh, okay. Again, people just want to know money. Do you know what? It depends because. With a brand deal, they'll want like a bulk of things usually. Yeah. It won't just be one, one post. post. It, it might be three posts and three Instagram stories. A month for three months. Yeah. yeah. So, so to put a figure on it, it's, it's not per post, mm -hmm. is it? It's not per photo you upload. You're going to no. get X amount of money. Yeah. A lot of people ask me like how much... Like, for example, like when I go home and I see people that maybe I went to school with, they're like, mm. is that your job? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, how much do you get paid from it? And I'm yeah, like, first of all, would you ask me that question if I had a, a stereotypical normal yeah. job? And this isn't really a normal job, is it, really? It's still is it, quite is, new. Is it just a British thing? Like, I, I don't, don't know. know. Brits find talking about money just a bit tacky. But I wouldn't... But I would never dream, like, say my friend worked in marketing, I would never say, how much do you make from that? How much do you make from that? I think it's I just, just it's so unknown, isn't it? Yeah. It's I think like, how long a piece of string? Yeah. But it's like, and when, when people ask me that, I always say, it depends, because it is different every single yeah. time. It depends on the brand, it depends on what the deliverables mm. are, it depends on everything. There's so many different things to consider. Mm. So, I feel like it's a hard question. But I feel like we could say... I'm going to be the a true no Brit here. Mm -hmm. I ain't disclosing. Yeah, I'm not going to discuss. I'm not going to talk dollars. I don't think <laughs> you should discuss stuff like Is, is it a bit, I don't know, is it tacky? Is it a bit, I don't know. I think, There's I something think about it in the like. Yeah, I just don't think you should discuss no. stuff like that. Granted, me and Alice will talk about stuff like that. Yeah. And I'll happily talk to friends Amongst about friends. that. But I don't want to power on the internet how much we make. So it's better shot then, yeah. Oh, you've already got one poured. I oh, know. It's because you had to. It's very full. It, I think you poured this one. Oh. Trying to sabotage me. <laughs> Have we nearly finished a bottle of salt? Oh, oh, no, halfway through. Halfway through. Great. Oh, God. Oh, wait for me. Chin chin. I'm oh, sorry. Chin chin it. Oh. Oh, <laughs> I actually. I actually. It's getting warmer. It's getting. We should have. We should have put that in the fridge, man. Yeah, but we've been sat here for a while now. Like, yeah, no, no, true. Oh, um, yeah. Would never discuss money like that. God, people want to know the deets, don't they? Like, yeah. they're getting in. Yeah, absolutely. Um. Wow. So a couple more about like the industry, influence industry. I've had oh, two questions, imagine. which are pretty much very similar. So I'm going to tie them into one. One of them is rudest person you've met in the industry, and the other one was. Have any of the has any girls in the influence industry seemed lovely online but fake in person? I mean, I mean, we're of course going to shot to that because there's no way on earth. Do you I know what? You, ask, you. you have to ask yourself: Do you like everyone that you work with? Do you like every single one of your colleagues? I guarantee, if you work with obviously you walk in and think that Leslie Jane's doing my head in a day. Janice, <sighs> bitch. Yeah, you, you know, know what I mean. Everyone, yeah. No one, no one likes everyone. No. But and there's people that are going to be your cup of tea and people who aren't, so yeah. that's normal. Granted, but there, there, is, there have been people that have... <laughs> <laughs> there have been people that we've met and came away and thought, wow, wow, don't be fucking round. <laughs> Literally, that is it to a like, T. And people who are like, yeah, maybe you're like really nice on Instagram and then you meet them and... and you, but to be fair, on the, on the other end of the scale though, I've been surprised by some people. Oh, absolutely. Like, people who come across very, like, cold or, you know... Yeah, or maybe a bit... Who are like... Dis who aren't overly fluffy and friendly yeah. on Instagram stories and stuff. You don't... You, maybe a bit more mysterious. You yeah. don't know a lot about them. Yeah. And those have been the nicest people. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But... 
You'd be surprised, oh, man. God. Some of the people and stories that are giving it the ah. Oh. I was going to say something and the mom give it away. Oh, no, really? You see some people on stories giving it all. I'm so lovely. I'm, yeah. You know, I'm. I'm relatable and one of you, and you meet them in real life, they won't even look you in the no. eye. And you're like, and you can tell that okay. they're looking down on everyone and thinking, I'm better than you. Yeah, like, so yeah, 100% there's people that I've met and thought, you're rude. So we're not gonna, not gonna be that person. I am never gonna sit and say that because that's not the classy thing to do. And do you know what? I'd like to sit here and say, maybe they were having a bad day. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know, a brand had pissed them off that day. Yeah. Absolutely. Maybe. Maybe they're, they're just, just not very nice. Shitty person. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're just awful. But we're going to shot to it because we're not going to say it. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh my god, it's horrible. Right. I've done so much more shots than I thought. I don't think I've been doing this many. I feel like I've done like oh, yeah, I feel like six, I seven, eight. I think, well, how many? Qu- I'm not going to work that out right now. I'm not, not going to count how many questions we've done. Oh. Um, in fact, let's just leave the lid off this. And I don't know why you're bothering putting on it if it's going to like stop. Like, oh no, let's just. It's already basically. It's already warm. tastes absolute garbage. Yeah, so that's just not even worth it. Right, another one. Do you face tune your pictures? I'm very happy to say yes or do. Yeah, I think it doesn't bother me. I, I am going to put out there. I think every person, if they say don't, then God carved them from above. Yeah. But I think everyone uses it to an extent. Yeah. I'm not talking manipulating your I'm body. I'm not talking to the literally of... making my legs thinner, making my waist yeah. tinier, mm. changing my whole face. No. No. Because come on, we do YouTube. If we yeah. came on YouTube and looked completely Can you different imagine if i'm on instagram rocking bloody triple f tits and then i'll come on in uh, online and i'm there like and they're like where did they go yeah come on yeah, if, you, if you do youtube and if you're out and about which most people are mm-hmm. then is that not just the most embarrassing thing that people yeah. would be looking at you thinking oh my god she looks nothing like photos that's my yeah. worst fear that someone mm-hmm. looked at me and thought i mean don't get me wrong i mean it's not my worst fear of life it's a bit dramatic yeah. <laughs> My worst fear, but I do feel like, you know, come on. Don't get me wrong, like, camera angles and lighting can do the most. Yeah, oh god, yeah. But in terms of face tune, oh my god, have I ever edited out a spot here and there? Absolutely. Yes. Smoothed a bit of skin that looked weird? Yes. Absolutely. 100%. Brought out the details? Yes. White in yes. the background? Yes. <laughs> Smoothed out a bit of cellulite? Yes. Mm. Like, cool. One thing that I do a lot as well is if there's like, you know, there's like cigarettes on the floor. Remove them. I'll remove them. Yeah. Or I don't know. I'll, sometimes I have one strand of hair just yeah. going like this, and I'll just get rid of that. Just a little. But no, in terms of we're talking like absolute yeah, minute things yeah. that you know enhance the photo, but don't mm. change the way you are. And I think as well, what's so important to remember is angles, everything, angles, lighting, and mm-hmm. poses, and knowing your your pose doesn't work for you so important like recently the whole molly may thing i was just about to say that honestly it breaks my heart like she's on holiday trying to enjoy a holiday Mm. with her boyfriend and friends and paps are taking video pictures of her and pushing herself out of the sea to get on a boat who looks nice doing that and when she's literally bent over like trying to get something exactly i'm sorry but for photos you stand at an angle you're ready yeah you know, you are so you know angles, you're sucking, you, do you know what I mean? When, when I'm pulling myself off a boat, I look like a beached whale. Like, <laughs> everyone does. No, so it's, you know, it's hard. I feel like it's really sad for her that she's all them pop photos coming out saying, yeah. you edit your photos. No, she doesn't. She knows her angles. Did you see she actually put on a, a live photo? A live and, photo yeah. showing, I haven't edited, edited, edited my photo. Because I think people were then accusing her of face tuning her photos, like editing her waist. She literally had to put the live a live story, story and video of to it. show that she had an angles everything. And that's, that's so sad. She even had to do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And that's one thing. Like, yeah, you have to be aware of angles and lighting and everything when it comes to taking a photo. And yeah, you might might be able to make yourself look a stone lighter mm-hmm. just from standing in a certain oh, actually, pose. When like, I'm pausing, stood up in a bikini, I've like I know exactly what angle works for me. Mm-hmm. I've got big hips. I have to stand up with my legs crossed. I know what works for my body shape. Mm-hmm. When I'm sat here. With Alex on a Friday night having a drink, I'm slouched yeah. over. I'm like this. I've got my rolls. Like, who cares? Yeah. But like, obviously, if someone was taking a picture of me through the window, you could put it on that and look twenty stone heavier than yeah. what I am. Yeah, it's, well, it's just angles, you know. So yeah. So yeah, a bit of ice cream. We do use it here and there. Who doesn't? Yeah, who doesn't? Who doesn't? 
who doesn't? So yeah, that answers that one. All right, so that's all the ones I had written down. So let's have a little look at... Have we got some last minute savage The ones? last minute ones. Let's just quick fire go through these. Yeah, right, let's get the shot ready. Get them ready. I feel like I'm going to need it. Is there anyone you want to unfollow but can't because you may bump into them? For me, yeah, there is. Yeah, 100%. Absolutely. Especially... Actually, no, I'm not going to say what I was going to say. What? <laughs> we spelled it, you going to say? Yeah. But I know that will probably be watching. But you know what? I've unfollowed a lot of those kind of people. I don't get. Yeah, I, I unfollowed a lot, but then rumour has it that they were in the pizza shop after a night out saying, she's on the me, she thinks she me. Why are you so obsessed with me? God. Also, some would be discussed the other day as well. Yeah. But sometimes it's just not worth it. Yeah, it's just not worth that beat. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. You know what? You've got to be professional. You've got to think your colleague, if you're working in an office, your colleagues at work, you can't just walk in one day and I hate you, I hate you, you need to go, you, you need never to speak find to me another again. job. Never speak to me I'm not, again. I'm going to blank you. You know, you have to move your desk away from me. Yeah. You have to put on your professional face yeah. sometimes, don't you? And yeah. just get on with it. So, yeah, I'm not going to say that. Help me either. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Next one, come on. Oh my god, okay, quick fire, I forgot. By the way, what's this weather doing? Sorry, it's sunny, it's sunny, rainy. I don't know what's going on. Um, <sighs> all influencer ones. This is one just for me, but I guess you could do it for yours as well. So for me, it says oh. Durham Life or Nottingham Life. So I'm originally from Durham um, and I moved to Nottingham two years ago. So it says Durham Life or Nottingham Life, where do you prefer? So yours would be. Yeah. Where have it? Burning life. Burning life. life first, not in life. Um, so for me, I prefer not in life because I feel like it kind of got me out of that Durham bubble. It's mm. got me being so much more independent. I mean, I went to uni in Leeds, so I, didn't, I haven't lived in Durham now for like six years. Mm -hmm. When uni, not five years. Yeah, like five years I haven't lived in Durham for, but I love going back. Don't get me wrong, like I'm going back this weekend. I absolutely love going back to Durham, seeing yeah. family, going out with my there's sister, nothing, seeing friends. There's nothing better sometimes than when yeah. you've been away from your hometown mm. and going back and it's like a little reunion. Yeah, I know? love it. I love it. Going out mm. in Durham and seeing people I went to school with and yeah. seeing the same faces. And I, I really do enjoy that and I love coming back, but I love my life in Nottingham as well. Mm. Don't get me wrong though, when me and Jordan eventually want to settle down and have kids, we probably will move further to the northeast because I, I want to have kids around my family so yeah I think like I like them both but I do love my life living in Nottingham yeah for me same I mean I much prefer being here I think same I got out of the bubble from home there's just I feel like when you're growing up and um, you're a psycho apparently yeah like me and absolutely you need, you need to <laughs> I need a new them. start no but I think you know you're growing up you kind of you have memories and people that yeah. are tied to home that mm -hmm. you just need to sometimes branch away yeah. from. And don't get me wrong, I don't I don't judge or slay anyone that stayed in their no, hometown absolutely at not. all. Like no. I get it, but just for me personally, it was never gonna be the case. I always remember from the age of literally like thirteen, fourteen mm -hmm. saying, I can't wait to move away to uni. Yeah. I was Through, the same. I needed, I needed to get, needed out to get of away. That. Yeah, I wanted to move out of the bubble and just meet new people and experience life. Yeah, and I'm glad I did because I know full well if I'd stayed at home, I wouldn't be doing this. Oh my god, me I'd, too. Be, I'd be so self conscious to do this. Yeah. But now I've, I've, my mind's opened yeah. up. I, I don't I'm, care. I'm the like, exact same. I remember when I first started getting into blogging and that type of thing. Yeah. I don't really like using the word blogging because blogging I associate with like typing, writing. Yeah, but writing then a blog. In, but then influencer, I don't like that word. So. Do you know what I mean? Content creator. Content creator. When I first started getting into this, I know for a fact, as in categorically, I know that pe people I went to school with were like, oh my god, like, what is she doing? Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I can guarantee the amount of things that have probably been said, but oh, I, just, I don't and Honestly, I could not care less no. because we are, like, genuinely, without preaching, like, I love my job and I wake up every day and I never dread going to work like I love my job so you can slay it all you want yeah. but when I I know for a fact when I come home and bump into people such as the people who I know have slagged me off because people have told me they're like oh my god mm. you're doing so well and I'm just like eh, nah what like that's why I like mm. being in Nottingham because I feel like yeah. it's just I'm out of it and it's I don't really care it's a bit and it's yeah. just it just open. I think it's really good for everyone at some point in their life to live out of your hometown yeah like you need that you just need that change of environment and it's it's character building as well. Oh, absolutely. You have to meet new people, people from different backgrounds, like 
Yeah, like we would never have met. We would never have met. I just think, like, yeah, it's good because it puts you out of your comfort zone. Like, my, I've got my close friends from uni and from school, but I've met so many people who are, like, my best friends as well mm-hmm. from moving away. So yeah. I think it's so good to, like, your personal, like, growth and experience to meet people and get you out of your yeah. comfort zone, 100%. Definitely. So for, for us, it's Nottingham life. Nottingham, Nottingham life, 100%. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, right, should we do one more? Last one. Last one. Okay, right, I'm ready. Um, worst product you've been sent from a brand that you've ever used? <sighs> oh, God. Is this one that we've, like, been paid to collab? Like, because I wouldn't, mm. I wouldn't work on a paid basis with a brand if I didn't no. like the product. So, so, like, for example... If you just get sent something. Yeah, something is a PR. Like, it's okay, of, right. Often, like, like you've just said, I wouldn't promote something that I hated. No. I mean, come on. I think it would, sh- I think it would show instantly through yeah. the content. However... If sometimes like I'll get we'll get packages through which are just from PR agencies so they just send you products mm. to try that you haven't you don't know the coming yeah. you've got They'll no obligation like, you've got no obligation to post it so I guess for that do you know what two spring to mind for me one springs to mind for me what's yours mine was like like a protein like pancake do you know like the shitty like it's powders gross. That taste of, like Ugh. dirt. Actual dirt, actual field. Dirt. That was a field. I'm not going to say the company, but it tasted like dirt. Yeah, I went. That's what springs to mind. I went inside the company, so I was sent a purple shampoo for blonde hair, and this was recent, and I still have the pictures from it because I text my hairdresser like, "Help me." I used a purple shampoo, and I did what you were supposed to do: leave it on for like five, ten minutes while you're doing whatever in the shower, rinse it out. My hair, I got out of the shower; it was legit purple like lilac and my hair is like <gasps> my baby it's not even your hair's like dirty blonde as well my hair's dirty blonde so you imagine brown roots goes into bright lilac like <gasps> and it weren't even a, it weren't a nice lilac because there were some bits that had stayed dirty blonde oh, some were dark purple oh, some were lilac. i can actually imagine the I stress looked like an actual easter egg like it oh, no. didn't look good so that was awful. Like I uh, sent a picture to my hairdresser, like, oh Help. my god, please to God, can you fix this? And another one, I got randomly sent some like lip lip plumping gloss. Oh god! And I thought my lips were going to fall off. Was it, it like tingling that much? It weren't tingling. This was like an acid burn. burn. <gasps> I thought something literally like an acid burn on my lip. It was horrendous. Like oh my god! I actually looked in the mirror because so I thought, are my lips bleeding? It was <gasps> that painful. That's what I mean. Like you get sent stuff. But, I mean, you would never have seen on Alex's story, love this purple shampoo, yeah. my hair's you like Yeah, you know, people have no idea what brand I'm talking about because I've never promoted no. it. Like, this is and if shocking. the brand asks, you just say, I tried. Like, often if I'm working mm. with a brand, if it's, say, for example, if it's going to be a paid sponsorship, I would often say, can, can, if it's a product, like, clothing-wise, I mean, you can order it and you know what's you, you see what But products, I would say, like, I, can I try it? So, like, yeah. can we try it? And, like, so at least yeah. you've got, like... You don't want to recommend something that you've used once. Yeah. You want to recommend something that you've been using. The, the most old, ideal scenario is when a brand um, that you already use and yeah. you're already a big fan of approach you about a colour. That is the ideal. That's, I feel like still, like, we've been doing this full time for two years, pretty mm-hmm. much. And still, if I get an email from a brand that I've bought from and love, I'm like... Buzzing, absolutely buzzing. I'm like beside myself still. Yeah, 100%. Because if it's a product that, like, for example, like, I'm trying to think of, like, Nip and Fab, for example. I've used Nip and Fab products for years mm-hmm. and I've really, really liked them. So when they reached out to me and said, Can we send you a box of loads of goodies in? I was like, Yes. Buzzing, so yeah. When it's stuff like that, it's so nice because it's like, I've bought from this brand, I still mm-hmm. go into boots and buy their products anyway, even though mm-hmm. they send me stuff. And that's what's the best way to be, I feel. Yeah, definitely. But, it doesn't stop the random little rogue brands mm. just sending you... Because once a PR company has your address, yeah. anything... I, I turned up at my door one day and there was like three crates of water. What? Water. And I was what? like, what? Like, what? Literally like, what? And honestly, the most random stuff comes from just turn up oh. the door. Yeah, it is weird. Sometimes I'll get a parcel and I'm like, I have no idea what's in this. No. No idea. No idea. I, know, I open it and I'm like... I don't know who this is from. It's quite scary, actually. Yeah, it is. I had a scary incident oh the other day. Oh my god, tell the story. I'm scared in case they're watching. I basically had a company turn up at my house. Like, legit turn up at my house. They took a picture. And then sent, they sent her a photo of They sent of me house. a photo of my house to my email address. 
and it was a bit scary. Like, That's scary. Like we've discussed getting a PO box. I think now. we're gonna get a PO box. I can't keep giving brands my actual address. No. Scary stuff. Yeah, I've asked that. I definitely think I will, yeah. especially in the next couple of months. Yeah, I'm, I'm literally setting mine up as we speak. So. I am. Mm. Definitely after that. Was... After that, I feel like the yeah. tone of the email as well. It was not. It was. It, it was. It was. It was threatening. Actually, yeah. It wasn't a hi. Just pop in. No. It was, it was not like nice. A threatening email. It was horrible. Yeah, and you've got to think how many brands we give our emails. Yeah, to and it, it's our not, address. I'm not. I mean, I'm, honestly, ninety nine percent of people that come across your address through through a brand are probably perfectly lovely, but there's yeah, that. Well, yeah. But you do get your weirdos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. if I leave You've that brand, you never know. Yeah. You never know who is behind that Instagram profile. Yeah. D- DMing you to send you a product to try. You never know. You don't know who it is. So I, I could say they're from this place. Yeah. But you never know. And they're not. So yeah, yeah. I think we actually need to shop. So we didn't actually we say do... who. We said what. What was the question? We've what just rambled for what product. Oh, we didn't so say. We didn't say Let's anything. end on this Let's end shot. On a shot. Right, cheers. Cheers to say it or shot, shot it. it. I feel like we've done quite a. We've shot it quite a few. We've shot it been, You know. I'm going to spill some tea. tea. Yeah. Oh my god. That was the worst one. That was awful. Right. <clears throat> oh my god. Ew. Right, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want us to do. Any more? Let us know because we definitely will. It's been fun, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been really good actually filming this. And I will, of course, link Alex's channel with our other video, which will be on hers down below. And I'll see you in the next vid. Bye. Bye.